Hello everyone, Moshe is here, the electric Israeli, and today I want to talk about driving the Chevy Volt in the winter. I'm driving the Chevy Volt right now. I just uh, put the um, snow tires on it. I should have done it a week or two ago. I did it on my leaf, but uh, we got a couple, couple, little, couple little snow events, no big deal. So I put on my snow tires that I'm going to ride until April probably, April, mid-April, end of April. So this way I keep my tires in good shape, both sides. One thing about the Chevy uh, Volt, right now it is fully charged and the rated range is 38 miles. I mean, in the summertime, you see 50 to 55 rated range. And the Volt, one thing I have to tell you, the rated range and the actual range really match. So if you see, whatever you see, that's what you're going to get. So um, so uh, the rated range is 20% or more or less, and the actual range, obviously, 20% less. But one thing, and I don't know if you can hear it right now, I just turned the car on, it's 30 degrees outside, and when it's 30 degrees or below, as soon as you turn the car on, the gas engine comes up. It takes it maybe five, 10 minutes until it warms up, whether you leave it to warm up or you drive it around for the gas engine to shut off and uh, just to drive on pure uh, electric car, electric uh, engine. So, um, so right now, like I said, the, the car is fully charged, fully charged and yet the gas engine goes. I hate that, absolutely hate that. I hated it since I got this car. Uh, to me, it should be enough for the car to warm itself, especially on a full charge. <sighs> but no, 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 no. We have to burn some gas. Anyway, whatever, maybe I'm being a little stickler. Uh, either way, so uh, what you, in what you should know on the, on the volts that uh, anything 30 degrees or below, the gas engine will come. Your rated, your uh, AV range is gonna be 20% uh, or more, less, more, 20, 20 plus percent less range. By, by the way, uh, same thing on the uh, leaf. I just saw the leaf this morning. My leaf, it was really cold, I have to say. It was like almost 20 degrees or something. The other day was 14 degrees. So uh, usually I get 90 to 95 miles and miles range on the leaf. Now it's down to like 78, 78. That's what basically what you get. So here we go, I just drove about a few minutes uh, and then now the, um, the gas engine shut off and it's now on pure electric. So know about the range, know about the uh, gas engine coming on, and very importantly, if you haven't done it, very importantly, get snow tires. Get snow tires. Uh, if you live in cold state or country, which when, if you get snow. So get uh, snow tires. I don't know if you heard the siren. It's actually the fire truck with Santa Claus. So Santa Claus is saying hello to everybody. Anyway, so uh, snow tires are so important. Uh, really, I cannot emphasize enough. It also keep your, uh, keep your um, uh, tires in good shape because you're switching uh, halfway through the year or seven months or eight months through the year. You're switching between, between tires so they really last really, really long both sets and it's very, very important uh, uh, to you. And most important, guys, those who drive in snow, if you have experience, then you know what I'm saying. If you don't, nothing will help you in, in, in snow driving if you drive fast. If you drive fast, no snow tires will help you. you. No matter what, you have to drive slow and careful and then the snow tires will be really good. Really good, uh, excellent investment. Okie dokie, that's it for today. So get your car ready for the winter. Have a good day, everybody. See you next time. Oh, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to change the world one electric car at a time.